glorious eye-catching images. Love them and so do your visitors. But when it comes to searching for those awesome photos and graphics for your website, you can easily spend hours and hours looking for the perfect ones. To save time and make this task easier, there are some general rules to follow that helps tremendously. That's just one of the things we will cover in this video. What's more, Photos and graphics need to be tweaked or edited or have text added or color changes. I won't leave you wondering about that. I'll be sharing some free resources for that as well. Hi, it's Deb, here to help you through building a high converting website without spending money you can better use elsewhere, perhaps in promoting your business. Okay, let's get started. Images make a huge impact as to the effectiveness of your website. Visitors love what we call eye candy. Using that to your advantage is what we're talking about here. First, things to know. JPEG files are usually the best choice for any large size images in use on your website. The main reason being that JPEG files are smaller than ping or PNG files and they load quicker. Ping files are higher resolution and better quality but the trade-off is much slower load times. The only reasons to choose ping files, PNG files, when it comes to your larger images, emphasis on larger, would be to accommodate a transparent background or best for detailed graphics and images with text. Slow loading pages is a poor user experience that results in very poor conversion. Basically, if your web page doesn't load within three seconds, about 40% of your visitors will leave. Let me clarify that it's much more than images that can cause your site to load slowly, but it can have a huge impact on it when your images are not optimized and compressed for speed. While we're on the subject of speed, let me just throw this in real quick. You can test your website pages with Google's PageSpeed Insights at pagespeed.web.dev. Now let's discuss how to choose the best images for your website. First, select high quality images. <laughs> I know, you may be wondering about this considering I just talked about using images that load quickly, but your images can be cached, compressed, and hopefully optimized for SEO, but that's another topic we'll address in another video. Two, your images need to be relevant to your copy. Images are meant to assist your copy or draw the eye to it. The purpose of your images is to evoke feelings or the mood you're trying to produce with your copy. An image that doesn't correlate will serve to confuse your visitor, which is never a good thing. Your image should speak to them as much as your copy does, just in a different way. Three, most of the time your images should be real, meaning real people, real products. You can DIY with your own camera or higher professional services. Stock photos are an option, of course. If that's your only choice, try to get ones that don't look cliche or have blurry backgrounds. They're too posed or unnatural in any way. Be picky. They matter. Understand the size, shape, orientation, colors, and location for your images before hunting and selecting them. That's a big time saver. Okay, so does it need to be small? Medium, large, full width. Do you need square, portrait, or landscape? The big full width images are called hero images, and the sizing is ideally between 1600 and 2000 pixels wide, but that's not a die hard rule. However, it does need to be high quality photo or video that translates as a personal touch that helps to build credibility and trust. Since people are highly visual, your hero image needs to create a positive first impression. Inside of that area, there should be a CTA call to action that directs visitors to do what you want them to do first. So it's important for you to know exactly what that would be. Note, you very rarely would need an image larger than that. Where would the image be used on your page? Do the colors in the image fit nicely with your website colors? Would it need to be cropped? And if so, would the focal point of the image still be in view within that crop? How much space would it take up on a page? Would it need to be compressed? If so, your Smush It plugin, if you have that installed, would help greatly. 
but for higher compression, you can use free services such as imagecompressor.com, iloveimg.com, which also has a photo editor, or tinypng.com. There's others. You can, you can Google it. Speaking of photo and image editors, there are plenty of free and low-cost ones, so don't shy away from editing your images. Let's take a look at a few. Canva has a free and paid service. It's user-friendly drag-and-drop interface and is well-stocked with royalty-free images, templates, and a lot more. But you can use it to manipulate images, add copy and other elements as well. Pixlr, which is a Google Play app, has some of the capabilities of Photoshop and is pretty good in comparison. You can create new or edit existing images you have. It's simple to use for the most part and quick to load. Photopea is an online picture editor that works with PSDs, pings, GIFs, or GIFs, however you want to say it, JPEGs, SVGs, XDs, .sketch, PDFs, and more. Along the lines of Adobe Photoshop, again, it has many of the same tools, such as layers, which is a valuable asset. Layers allow you to do things such as change text as needed. That comes in handy quite often. Be Funky allows you to upload images from your computer, Google Drive, or take a photo with a webcam. Lots of editing choices, including effects, frames, and text, as well as the ability to create a collage or design. They also have apps for iOS and Android, if you like working on your phone. GIMP is a free open source image editor that offers image manipulation, such as retouching and restoring photos. It also serves to produce design elements such as icons and logos and, and such. Photoplexer is a free, easy to use online photo editor that offers one-click tweaks and some advanced tools that you get with desktop software, such as adding shapes, doodling, distortions, font styles, and so on. Editor.fo.to <laughs> editor photo is, <laughs> is an easy to use online tool for uh, cropping, resizing, and rotating images to suit your needs. Lunapic, <laughs> I love these names, Lunapic, is another free online photo editing tool that doesn't require sign up to use, which is cool. It offers a variety of editing tools, effects and filters, as well as artifacts such as watercolor and sketch. Okay, so that's just a quick roundup of images and photos for your website. I hope it helps you out. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or need help. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Always appreciate it. God bless.